I grew up very Cuban and very machismo. It's just in our culture. And if you grew up in a Spanish household, you probably know that men don't cry, that men are strong and showing any sign of weakness makes you less of a man. And that kind of mindset and that mentality leads to a lot of mental health issues. And I know for a fact that there's a lot of us out there who bottle up stuff because they can't express themselves and they can't talk about their problems because it'll make them look weak. And then this stuff just leads to mental health problems and it leads to addiction and it leads to people being sad and unhappy. Many of us don't have safe places and we're not able to talk about this stuff. And more so with a lot of men who are growing up without father figures in their lives and people who are growing up with emotionally immature adults. Not having the ability to get some of this stuff out there and not knowing that it's okay to have problems and it's okay to be emotional and talk about things that are on your mind. And I do feel like it's more so with men, especially men around my age and older than me because the younger generation seems to be figuring this stuff out. Seeking help and seeking therapy is becoming more normal. But for many of us, we still don't wanna talk about problems and things that have happened to us. And I know this from firsthand personal experience. It was very hard for me to open up to a therapist. It was very hard for me to decide that I need help. Many times speaking with my wife, her telling me like, you should really go talk to somebody. It took a lot for that to happen. It took me realizing that I, I had addictions and it took me realizing that I was depressed and a lot of mental health issues that I needed to talk to someone. And after opening up and talking to the therapist and realizing that I had complex PTSD and I had a lot of stuff that I've been holding on to that I bottled up inside that I haven't talked about that I just was trying to be a man about. I noticed that the more I tried to swallow that, hold it down and never let it out, the more it was eating me up from the inside and the more it was creating serious problems for me. And it didn't get any better until I decided to go out there and talk to someone about it. I'm glad that I did, but I realized that I had more men that I could relate to talked about it. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been so hesitant and maybe it wouldn't have taken me so long to get the help that I needed and maybe I would be in a better spot now. And I'm so happy that I did. Now I'm able to openly say this on camera and tell this to other people out there, other men out there who might need to hear this, that it's all right, man. Like, like go out there and talk to someone. Talk to someone about your problems. Everyone has different problems that have maybe caused a lot of issues for them. And it doesn't matter how silly you think it is, or it doesn't matter how personal you think it is. And it doesn't matter how vulnerable you feel you might be, showing that vulnerability and speaking to someone about it, a professional, a therapist, who can really help you and guide you into bettering yourself and becoming healthier and improving your life and improving your mental health is so worth it. And it's funny because I made a tweet where it was like all these self-improvement gurus and YouTubers or all these young kids that are like in their 20s who all look like upper or middle class kids from middle America suburbia who probably have never had to deal with any turmoil or any serious adversity. I find it funny that those are like the self-improvement guys but the truth is that they may have had issues of their own that have affected them and impacted them as, as much as my issues have, even though I feel that my problems and the things that happen to me are probably worse than anything they've ever had to go through. It doesn't mean that it didn't affect them. And I don't like a lot of the self-improvement guys because they're just like every other YouTuber regurgitating stuff. And a lot of them don't speak from the heart. They're just trying to be like, I read a hundred self-improvement books or, uh, you know, journaling and meditating changed my life and whilst those things are good it's just people making videos and not being genuine and talking about like their real experiences and I want to talk about my real experiences I've gone through because I feel that that's where the value comes from I want to talk about this mostly because I, I know a lot of people who have gone off the deep end on drugs I have friends that didn't make it I have friends who are dead I have friends who have lost their minds. I have a good friend of mine right now that I found out is missing. He's just gone. The last time he was seen was on the streets in LA, homeless, and the guy has a wife and kids, or you know, had a wife and kids, and nobody knows where he's at, and, and he just kind of 
fell back into drinking and drugs. And I know that a lot of that probably happened because of mental health issues and things that he never went to get help for. Most people who are homeless and dealing with drug problems and most debilitating mental health problems comes from abuse and issues that they've had that they've been holding on to that they were never able to deal with. And they just haven't been able to figure out that trauma and understand how to deal with that trauma and how to better themselves and improve their lives because many of them, a lot like me, were told that they just have to be a man about it. And they were just dealing with it the, as best as they could. They never opened up and tried to, to seek help outside of just bottling it up and self-medicating, doing their best to deal with it however they knew how because they were too scared or felt like they needed to be strong instead of going out and getting the help that they needed. And it sucks and it hurts to think about. And I know that I wasn't too far off from ending up like that and I got lucky just talking about this stuff. I'm hoping that it reaches the right person that might need to hear it at the right time. So that there is a way to be happier and work through all the problems that you've had and to repair the damages that were caused by trauma that you may have endured. Because you know, some of us may have not gone through it yet, but maybe if you watch this video and you go through some series that breaks you, know that you can be fixed. All right, with all that said, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.